anything just to buy the word To my channel so do you notice anything different I got extensions <laughs> so yeah I got my extensions in as of yesterday when you guys are watching this video I would have gotten them in like five days ago but I got them in and so far I'm loving them I will do a video on it because I know you guys want me to do a video on it so I will tweet out when I'm doing that video, I'll, like, I'll Instagram about it probably, but it won't be for a while, so don't expect it soon because I don't want to do a, an extensions video when I just got them because I really don't know much yet. So back to the point of this video, today I'm going to be doing a Victoria's Secret inspired makeup tutorial. This is just the makeup that I've been wearing a ton lately. It's really glowy, really bronzy, and really, really effortless. It's just beautiful and enhances your natural features. This has been my go-to makeup, so I really hope you guys all enjoy the video. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos, give it a thumbs up, and here we go. First thing I'm going to do is put the mane back. So I'm just going to put a headband in. This is the only headband that I have in my house. And I'm pretty sure it's the same one that I used in fifth grade. I'm first gonna put on a little bit of the Nivea Men Replenishing Post Shave Balm. It looks like this over here. Look at this sad little nail, it like came off. I'm gonna put it all over my face. Yeah, I'm really pale because I fake tan, but I never put it on my face just because, I don't know why, it probably makes my life a lot easier. Now I go in and even out my face to my neck. Um, and I just picked up this foundation, so I have no idea if it matches. So I wanted one that matches my tan in the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous foundation. So this is in the number 310. I was in the number 120, so I'm going to use a beauty blender. Oh, I missed this foundation. Oh, where's my latte? Um, a thing about eyelash extensions is it's like way harder to do eye makeup. It's like trying to do makeup when you have fake eyelashes on. Like it's not too easy and that's just something to think about if you're like really into makeup. It's kind of a pain. They are a pain but these look bomb. My other ones were like not bomb. I'm going to go in with concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It's bomb. It's my fave. This is in the shade 15, so it's way too light for me, as you can see. But it works out um, as a really good highlighting concealer. So I blend it in with my finger about this much. And then I go in with the Beauty Blender. And I finish the job off. And then when I get down here, I like to flip it to where the foundation was just to blend the line of the concealer into the foundation so it just sort of fades down, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Cute, right? The concealer on my forehead always like sets really weird, so I don't know why that happens, but it does, so I like really have to blend that in. Now I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Contour Kit. I use this for like half my face. So I like to go in with this brush. It's a Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix these two colors, vanilla and banana. I like to mix them, I like to get a little bit more of vanilla than banana, but I mix them, you know, to get the gist. And then with this, I set everything that I put concealer on. So any highlighted area of my face, this powder sets. Something that I really stopped doing is setting my whole face, because I realized that like I don't need to, so I don't need to like cake up my face when I don't need to. Then I go in with the Real Techniques blush brush. I use this for bronzer and I take Hoola by Benefit. Take it on my brush and then I dab off the excess. And I just contour, well I bronze my face with this. So I put it on my cheekbones, up on my temples, up on my forehead. I kind of use this to set the rest of my makeup. It just really is going on the perimeters and like the E3 motion, if you guys remember that from like the old days of makeup and like of YouTube, everyone was talking about the E3. I run a little tiny bit down the sides. I really don't fo um, focus on contouring my nose or anything like that. Now I go back in with the Anastasia Contour Kit and I take this tart brush. It doesn't have a name, but it's just a flat topped brush. It looks like a flat topped like baby kabuki brush or something like that. And I take this color. I think it's called Fawn, but I really don't know. 
whatever, it's the middle one. With this, I will cut my cheek just a little tiny, tiny bit. So I take it from about the top of my ear and just drag it down like that to get a line. I'm using the side of the brush to get a line and then I use the top of the brush to buff it up like that. So it's a nice blend. You never want to blend it down or else it's going to look, um, it's going to really elongate your face and just look muddy. And I just go in with the bigger brush and blend it going up like that. And then you have a little contour on your cheek. It's really not a lot. It's just something simple. I just really like a good bronze and a good contour, you know? And then I like to go in with the Hourglass Ambient Light Palette and I use the middle shade which is called Incandescent Light and take it on a fan brush because it gives me a really precise line and it covers a good amount of area without getting too out of control, you know what I mean? And I put this right where the top of the contour meets the light part of my face. I just emphasize that cheekbone right there. Drag it down, this gives a really beautiful sheen. And then I go in with this Tarte Blush in the shade Dazzled. I think I talked about this in a favorite. I really been liking it. I take it on a um, BH Cosmetics blush brush. You can see that I need to wash this because I only ever use it with this color. So I take a little bit of this and I pop this right on the apples of the cheeks. And then sometimes if this line is like really prominent, which it kind of is today, I would just drag it back a little bit to blend that out. When it comes to the eyes, I first do my brows and I normally skip this part because I have a brow routine which I'll have linked down below. But lately I've also been using a pencil so I just quickly want to show you what I do for that because it's a lot more natural. I outline the top of my brows. I'm not overdrawing the shape, I'm really just following the natural outline. I'm making a lot of small strokes. Then I go on the bottom, underline that, follow my natural shape, make a nice prominent tail there. And then we have this outline, and then all that I like to do is fill this in. And then I like to go in and just do strokes going upwards towards the front of my brow and I bring it in a little, little tiny, tiny bit. Just make my nose appear a tiny bit smaller. But I'm careful here not to make it look like robotic. Then what I like to do is I like to take my beauty blender and just pat it over the brows just so that they get more natural looking. Fill in any gaps. And then I set it, normally I use my e.l.f. brow gel, but I don't know where that went right now, so this is my NYX Control Freak brow gel. Just any brow gel, clear mascara will work. Just anything you got, you know? Set it. I've been using Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and I put this all over my lid, and you can see that I struggle with these eyelash extensions to put makeup on, because it's difficult. And then I go in and I blend it out. I'm going to go back in with Hoola by Benefit and a 224. You can use any brown, it literally doesn't matter. And I'm just throwing this in the crease. This really is a building shade. It looks beautiful whenever we put Woodwinked over top of it. It like really changes the whole color of Woodwinked and it just helps define your eye a little bit more. So really just throw this in the crease. It doesn't really matter if it's messy. I take my MAC palette and a 217 dupe. This is by Tarte. I just like this one because it has this brush which I also use and it has a 217 like brush. I go in right here with this shade Woodwink. It's a beautiful golden color. I, It's really taken a beating this past week. I'm using it every single day. With this what I do is I put it all along my lid. I just sort of swivel it on in there, no real rhyme or reason. Just kind of lay that on there and then I also bring it up into the crease and just slap it on right over top of the brown that you put down, like that. That's pretty much it. 
Then I go in again with the 224 and I blend it out. But seriously guys, that's it. It's really, really, really simple. I'm gonna take wood wings and throw this along the lower lash line all the way inward. Then I like to go in and highlight my eyes. So I take nylon right here, which is a super frosty iridescent color, gorge. And I put it right underneath the highest point of my brow. I don't bring it anywhere else, seriously, just right there. Then I tap it in with my finger because this color can get so intense, you guys. Like literally so intense, so fast. And then this right here changes the whole look. So I take floof by MAC. It's beautiful. If you have to get one shade from MAC, I definitely recommend floof. And all that you do, you pop it right here. Super pigmented, I just tapped mine all off. Put it right here on this inner corner. I'm gonna show you another way that you can use it, but look at that completely just changes the game. So for my mascara, since I have lash extensions on, I'm not gonna put on mascara, but if I were going to, it would be Roller Lash by Benefit and a little bit of Better Than Sex by um, Too Faced. So what I'm just gonna do is just brush out my lashes. And then for my lower lashes, a Cosmetics Tightline Waterproof Mascara. I just use this because it has a smaller brush so it's easier to put on my lower lashes. So I'm just gonna put mascara, Oh, I hate when I do that. All along my lower lashes. Just a little amount, because I don't want to be like spidery. Finally, for lips, this changes the game yet again. I go in with the CoverGirl Queen Collection Lip Gloss, my favorite. Just any sort of icy pink lip gloss will work. Take that same brush. A little bit of floof again, right on the cupid's bow. What a difference. Oh my god. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed the video. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.